Hey there guys, this is Phone Tech Kid, and today we're going to be taking a look at a ROM that's not only simple and blow your socks off fast, but one that also gives you enough features to have you busy for a couple of days. Guys, this is the Carbon ROM for your Galaxy S3s and Galaxy S4s, and let's check it out. <laughs> Whenever I install any ROM on my Android device, it is always running the latest version of Android. So of course, Carbon ROM is based off of KitKat 4.4.2, which means you are getting that great KitKat goodness, those fast speeds, the fast smooth transitions, and all the apps are opening up perfectly and smoothly and just what you'd expect from a KitKat ROM. Now this ROM includes a lot of cool features and let's take a look at some of them. So if we pop up into settings, we're going to have a whole personalization area. And the first thing we open up is carbon fiber and under there we get an about carbon section. Here you can go and just look about what the developers had an idea of when they were making this ROM. Once you've looked through that and got a good idea, then we could get to customizing. So under buttons, the first section of the options that you do get, we have a lot of different options to go through. We have the ability to get full customization of our home button, our menu button, and our volume buttons. We could go from the home button and change the long press actions, the double tap actions, and you could do this with all the different buttons. As we move on to the other settings, the next option that we do get is device tunables. And under here, we could actually change the vibration intensity which I actually found a really cool and useful feature because sometimes your phone does vibrate too violently. After that, we do get an interface section, which, as you would expect, has most of the customizable options. Now, we do get three different tabs of areas where we can customize our interface. It starts off with CRT animation and expanded desktop options. And then we also do get a recent panel option where we can customize where we want our kill all button showing up in the recent tasks menu. After that we get into some of our lock screen options. Now here we actually also do get the active display feature which I have reviewed in previous ROMs and it seems to have become a standard in all AOSP ROMs. And also another cool option I saw in lock screen settings was the ability to have a see-through lock screen but also blur the background which actually could be a pretty cool looking effect. As you can see, I could demo it quickly, but you really need to have the right wallpaper and play around with it to choose the perfect blur effect. Everything else is pretty basic in the lock screen settings. Of course, we can also go and customize our targets from different apps or actions we want it to do. Another cool feature that I found on this ROM was the Slim Pie option. Now, this was actually developed by Paranoid Android and it basically gives you a quick access to your time, your basic stats, your nav navigation bar, and just a bunch of cool stuff that you could customize in these setting options. Now, as I said, there's a lot of different options for this feature, so you definitely have to play around with it and figure out the way you like it. And to cap off the feature list, we had some basic stuff like customizing our power menu, and then also going under status bar and changing stuff like our battery percentage, and as you would expect, there were a lot of batteries to play around with and choose from. So when it comes to availability of this ROM, it is available to a lot of different devices. Now, this video is specifically made for the S3 and the S4, and all the S3s and S4 should be supported. Now guys, I was running a nightly for this video, but they also do have a stable release out if you wanna try that out. It's up to you. I didn't have that many problems with nightly, but of course that could change every night. Otherwise, this was a really great ROM. It was really fluid. It was really fast, smooth, and it gave me features that were actually useful and that I like to play around with. Guys, this is a really good ROM. I highly suggest trying it out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Guys, thanks for watching.